Baboon TV presents nine shocking cartoon theories that will ruin your childhood. Number one. To wrap this theory up quickly, Doug is the victim of a child molester named Mr. Dink. Dink offers Doug neat gifts constantly and is strangely not allowed in Doug's sister's room. Why? LSD. And that's what his daydreams are. Number two. This is a much lesser known theory, but interesting nonetheless. It states that Miss Frizzle is the teacher of a special education class. It's generally accepted that the length of the bus being short is evidence, as well as the size of the class being small, to even pointing out how the kids never really seem to do anything curriculum based, and all they do is go on field trips. Number three. The kids from Magic School Bus grew up to be on Captain Planet. This is amazing. However, there is a strong possibility that it's not actually real. Number four. This theory is dark. It states that the Rugrats is all a figment of Angelica's imagination. The Devilles had an abortion, and Angelica could not decide whether the child was a boy or a girl, so the natural response is to assume twins to have both genders. Chucky died, along with his mother. That explains his anxious mess of a father. And Tommy. Tommy apparently was a stillborn, and that explains why Stu always builds toys in the basement. He's coping with the fact that he never had a child to play with the toys. Susie was Angelica's only real friend who went along silently with the whole thing. Number five. This is a pretty widely known theory, but makes a lot of sense. It states that Batman, the animated series, is not what we think it is. This theory states that Bruce Wayne is battling a bunch of inner demons. All of the villains of the story represent different things. Mr. Freeze is Bruce's inability to maintain relationships with certain people over a long period of time. The Penguin relates to his wealth and class. Two-Face represents his jarring with Bruce Wayne, the billionaire philanthropist, and Batman, the caped crusader. And lastly, there's the Joker, who signifies the insane thoughts that stem from his parents' death. Number six. This theory is fun to think about. It involves Pinky and the brain. The thing is, we assume which is which, Brain being the smaller one and Pinky being the taller one. However, is that really the case? In the theme song, it mentions both sides, but never explicitly states who is who. There is an episode where Brain participates in a game show and loses a question that Pinky knows the answer to. That, along with the fact that Pinky can read, whereas Brain can hardly even write his name. Coincidence? I don't think so. Number seven. The show Hey Arnold is about Helga more than anything else. It makes a lot of sense. We know far more about Helga than we do about Arnold. Her father is very inattentive to her. Her mother is an alcoholic. She is expected to be successful just as her older sister is. She has a very rough life, not to mention her extreme infatuation with Arnold. If she weren't so obsessed with them, the show might not have been named Hey Arnold. Number eight. Did anyone pick this up? In the movie Aladdin, there's a scene where Genie mentions Aladdin's clothing. He uses very specific diction to describe it, saying it is so third century. We know that Genie was locked away in the lamp for 10,000 years, so there's no way for him to understand third century fashion. So with that knowledge in hand, we can assume Aladdin takes place in the future, around 10,300 AD. Number nine. SpongeBob characters are the seven deadly sins. Sloth, Patrick, who is obviously lazy. Wrath, Squidward, who is constantly in a bad mood and hates pretty much everything. Greed, Mr. Krabs is blatantly greedy and money-driven. Envy, Plankton envies Mr. Krabs' success as his business, the Chum Bucket, fails miserably. Gluttony, Gary eats a lot. There's a regularly spoken phrase, don't forget to feed Gary, that supports this. Pride. Sandy is a proud Texan who vocalizes that often. Lust. SpongeBob is overly friendly with people and appears to love everyone, even if that feeling isn't reciprocated. Thanks for watching another amazing video. Don't forget to subscribe for more.